Hello. In this video I'd like to show you how to solve a complicated looking equation. We've got lots of stuff going on here in this one. We've got x's here and here and here. We've got numbers there and there. We've got numbers all over this equation. We've got three things on the left side of the equation, four things on the right side of the equation. How is it possible that we are going to be able to solve for a single value of x, the only value of x that will work in this equation, how are we going to be able to do that? It looks bad, it looks complicated, but following a couple simple steps, we can solve it without too much trouble. So step one is we're going to combine like terms. Combine like terms. And first let's identify the like terms. Anything with an x in it uh, would be like terms. So here is a uh, 6x there. On the right side, there is a positive 7x. And way over there is a positive 3x. The plain old numbers are all like terms. There is a negative 5. There is a positive 12, a negative 10 on the right side and a positive 53 on the right side. Notice I'm circling these, including the number with the sign ahead of it. Don't just call that a 10, it is a negative 10. That negative sign has to go with it. A positive 53. A positive 3x. So make sure you're including the sign ahead of it. And I like to color code them too, so it's easy to see my x's are in pink, my regular numbers are in green. Step one, Let's combine the like terms on the left. So let's just do just the left side first. And now let's do our x's. If we look at all these things, how many x's have we got? We've only got a 6x. There's no other x terms on the left, so I'm just going to rewrite 6x, and I know I'm done with that term. Let's do the numbers. On the left, there are two numbers, a negative 5 and a positive 12. And if I do negative 5 plus 12, I'm going to get a positive 7 or plus 7. So step one, combine like terms on the left hand side. Step two, combine like terms on the right hand side. So let's do the same thing over here now. Let's combine our x's first. I've got a 7x and a 3x. How many total x's is that over there? 7x's and 3x's make a total of 10x's. 10x. So I can cross those off to know that I'm done with them. Now let's do the plain old numbers. Let's combine those like terms, negative 10 and positive 53. If I do negative 10 plus 53, I get a positive 43. So step one was combine like terms on the left. Step two was combine like terms on the right. Now we're ready to finish this thing off. So step three, let's solve for x. We've got an equation here with variables on both sides, a 6x and a 10x. There are also numbers on both sides, a 7 on the left, a 43 on the right. Our goal in this thing is going to end up with x equals some number. That's where we want to get. So we want to get x all by itself on one side of the equation. So get x by itself on one side. And over here, we want just a single number all by itself over here. So how are we going to go about doing that? First thing I know, if, if that needs to be a number, I have to get rid of that 10x. So to get rid of it, the opposite of a positive 10x is minus 10x. And 10x minus x is 0. It cancels away. So it's gone. But since this is an equation, any change I make to one side, I have to make the same change to the other side to make the two sides remain equal. So if I go minus 10x here, I'm going to do minus 10x on the left side of the equation. Make sure when I write it, I'm going to write it under the 6x. Because 6x and 10x are like terms, I can do 6x minus 10x. I couldn't do 7 minus 10x because those aren't like terms. So what have we got left? 6x minus 10x is negative 4x. Let's rewrite everything that remains. Plus 7 is still there. 
the equal sign is there, the 10 X's are gone, the 43 is still there. Now it's just a two-step equation. I got the a number all by itself on the right. Now I need to get this X all by itself over here. So let's get rid of the plus seven and get rid of the times negative four. Opposite of plus seven, minus seven. Negative seven minus seven is zero. It cancels, but I better subtract it from the right side too. What's remaining here? Negative four X is over on the left. 43 minus 7 is going to be 36. Now negative 4 times x equals 36. How do you get rid of times negative 4? By dividing by negative 4. Why divide by negative 4? Well negative 4 divided by negative 4 is a positive 1. Leaving just 1x or just x on the left hand side. And if I divide by negative 4 there, I will divide by negative 4 on the right, and I'm ready to get my answer. x is equal to 36 divided by negative 4. A positive divided by a negative is a negative 9. So I have accomplished my goal. I had this long equation, but I combined like terms on the left. I combined like terms on the right. Then I got the x's all by themselves on the left the number all by itself on the right, and I know that this equation is only true when x is equal to negative 9. So, it's time for you to get a little practice now. If you wanted, you could have paused it on here, take a look at it, study it, copy it if you want to. But now here's a different one, very similar to the first one. So, here's the left hand side, and the right hand side, we want to solve for x. So remember the steps here. Step one is to combine like terms on the left. Step two is to combine like terms on the right. Once you do, it's right, you're ready to solve for x. Get x by itself on one side and a number by itself on the other side. So go ahead and pause it, give it a try, see if you can do it, and I'll show you my solution in just a second. All right, hopefully you came to an answer and let's see if your answer is correct. So there is my work right there. When I combine like terms on the left, I get 3x minus 7x is negative 4x. There's nothing to combine the 4 with, so I'll just rewrite that. When I combine like terms on the right, step two, the negative 6x is the only x term on the right, so I'm just going to copy it down. There are two numbers, though, that I can combine. Negative 4 plus 20 is 16. So now I have negative 4x plus 4 is equal to negative 6x plus 16. And now we're ready to solve for x. We want to get rid of the x term on the right, get rid of the numbers on the left. We'll do that by doing the opposite. And the opposite of minus 6x is plus 6x. And I can do that to both sides, get rid of the plus 4, get rid of the divide by 2, and you should end up with x is equal to 6. So hopefully that makes sense, hopefully that will help you out, um, and you will have success doing these more complicated equations.